hello hello guys uh today we have a nice gaming uh laptop with a big fan with a big fans and a big heat sink anyway this is gonna be very interesting you have to listen to this part you have to watch this video because here is where we separate boys from men okay <laughs> let me repeat again here we separate boys from men okay let's go ahead let's see what exactly we have this machine at first uh when i diagnosed this pc i thought the gpu i mean the cpu was faulty but anyway even now i still believe that the cpu it's dead completely dead i will um i'll conclude and i'll say why i'm saying the cpu still now is dead the cpu was bent have a look at this here these are outputs all right after the outputs what do you have you will have the capacitors the filter capacitors sometimes a uh, electrolytic capacitors but here we have tertium capacitors three of them and then we have what a gpu this is a gpu this whole section here it's um what you call this the pwm system so it's something like this let me just uh write it down this way it's something like this we have what a gpu okay simple we have a cpu cpu all right you'll have a cpu here and there let me write it as it is uh let, let's write this one for a cpu okay this one for a gpu yeah this one for a gpu but let's just say a gpu instead of a cpu a gpu let's focus here but our problem here is not here but it's here so i'm making an example with this one the same thing don't be confused a gpu is shorted there's a short uh, we have a short to ground and it's compared to ground it's zero 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 short straight short to ground listen to this part very carefully how many coils we have there output coils one two three four we have four uh coils are, are like this one two three and four after a coil we have capacitors we have capacitors don't be confused i don't want to com uh, confuse you i want to make this easy as possible this is the power supply the coils all right normally they will have l the number starts with l maybe l 800 any number all right these are coils l l all right this is gpu normally on old computers what do you have you will have what mosfet you will have uh mosfet let's write mosfet some some little boxes you will have one mosfet little one connected to ground i mean another one connected to ground you will have another mosfet here because these are all the power supplies you will have another mosfet here you will have another mosfet here two mosfets you'll have another two mosfets here end up having two four six abo no no no. you'll end up having two four six eight eight mosfets supplying supplying this going there going there going there and here you will have a chip with so many legs so many legs so many legs controlling those mosfets controlling those mosfets all right this is the system and then this is the main power rail the 19 volts so the 19 volts goes here on this mosfet and then this chip here there is a controller this controller here control the gates to short those mosfets to ground and back to 19 back to ground back to 19 volts and you end up having something like maybe 0 0.9 volts coming from where from the 19 volts but the aim of this system is to take the 19 volts and then pull it 
down what to 0 0.9 volts or to 0 0.5 volts or to 0 0.8 volts or to 1 volt depending on what you are currently doing okay here we have an interesting part there's a short when i check here on the coil here there's a short to ground okay so what i did was okay so what we're gonna do right now is oh wait 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 don't be confused i have so many things interesting things that i want us to do to focus on i'm gonna repeat the same example we have what a gpu and there's a short to ground there's a short to ground and here we have the coils one two three four they're all supplying once supplying the gpu and you'll have the filter capacitors here it's a capacitors here capacitors here capacitors here okay now since we have a short here okay wait let me write and listen to, 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 to this part carefully this is very 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 important to listen to on new laptops we don't have those uh eight MOSFET we only have four ICs there Okay. and then we'll have a controller here controlling those ICs which control the MOSFET those IC, little ICs there they have the MOSFET within them and they have uh, the, the, the pins for gates everything is controlled it's been controlled here within these things no more MOSFET keep in mind I told you here I was separating the boys from men no more MOSFET let me write it down here no more no more MOSFET. No more MOSFETs. You are done with the MOSFET now. And this guy controls these four guys here. They have the MOSFET within them. They are little square. I'm going to show you. Let's go. Uh, let me show you these guys. I'm pretty sure you are very interested to see these things. And you have to see these things. okay anyway let me tell you a short story no more mosfet right there's a short story we have the, the 19 volt right here supplying these ic's which also act as mosfet within them so if this one of these is shorted if this gets shorted it's very very bad because it's gonna send the 19 volt everywhere here on the chip and then it's gonna say the 19 volts straight on the gpu even this one as well will be shorted almost everything here will be sending what the 19 volts straight there so it means you will have a dead chip shorted mosfet and a dead cpu because i don't think the CPU would be able to hang the 19 volts. Let's make an example. I have this board here in front of me. Let's go ahead. Let's see what do we have. And one more thing before we continue. If there's a short, okay, let me show you on this one. If we have a short here and everything is shorted around the 19 volts, everything, we have to disconnect these guys here. Move all of them. And now we'll have a gap. We'll have a gap between the PWM and the GPU. And then you check for short. Whether short is coming from this side or it's coming from this side. Have a pot. Let's do it. And on the multimeter. You put it into a continuity mode. You check there. To me, that seems fine. Seems fine. What about this? 
seems fine, what about this, seems fine, what about this, okay, it's fine, what about this, it's fine, remember, the CPU has a low resistance to ground, doesn't, doesn't necessarily mean it's grounded, so 10 is fine, let's come here on the GPU, on the GPU, we have what, we have a straight shot to ground, straight shot to ground on the GPU. So now I'm gonna check if one of the MOSFETs are shorted or not. Okay, the best way to check as I've mentioned, we have to separate the two. Okay, guys, anyway, uh, they used a strong, what do you call this, a strong soldering I I wire, uh, so strong, I couldn't uh, remove them nicely, I was going to do a, a full video, but hey, I'm sitting, I had to add some little bits of solder to be able to remove them, but still, it was so hard to come off, anyway, these ones these two ones here i didn't remove them completely i just pulled them up on one side so that's now now we have something like this now let me show you i'm gonna show you what exactly we have there's a shot on the cpu i hope you saw on the gpu sorry now we have something like this this is a gpu gpu then here now the wires are not connected with the coils we have a gap because i pulled these two up i pulled these two up they are not touching this coil and then here i remove this two completely so here we have a gap there's a gap now here there's a gap right when i check where the shot is coming from this side or it's coming from this side let's go ahead uh how do we check for shots take your multimeter convert it into okay let's go ahead no shots shots let's check on the gpu side there's a shot straight to ground shot straight to ground no shots no shots there's a shot straight to ground okay i hope you can see and now you are happy 100 percent that the shot is coming from where from the GPU, now we have a proof, a proof, and a proper proof that the shot is coming from where, from the, from the GPU. Guys, this is how you can conclude. This is how you can confirm, thousand percent and be hundred percent certain that the shots is coming from where, from the GPU. I don't want you to have some some doubts and say, what if, what if this, what if that? No, the shot is coming straight from the GPU. Uh, there's no stories you can see 100 percent 
and again someone might say the shot is coming from those titanium capacitors or ceramic capacitors but believe me that's not the case those components are not short set i don't think so the shot in my case i believe is coming from the from the gpu direct from the gpu but it's common gpus they bend it's very 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 common it happens uh almost 90 percent with those gaming pieces Okay. Okay. Let's go ahead. Here to here, no continuity. No continuity. I hope you can be I hope you can see everything now we are sensing and we are 100% sure that the shot is coming from where from the GPU those those are chips which act as MOSFETs they're 100% right they're okay they are okay hundred percent okay anyway this is it don't forget to press the subscribe like the video and enjoy sharp sharp